In this video, we'll see how to disable a submit button in a form when the form is currently sending data, for example, and how to display a success message when this data is sent. So to do this, I created a simple form in WeWeb with a message that should display when the data is sent, and I've got my submit button. First thing I've done before, but I will show you how to do this really quickly, is that I created a variable called isFormDisabled, which is a boolean with a default value of false. And I also created a display success message boolean, which is also false, also boolean, also false. So this da these two variables will help me telling to WeWeb if the app should display the success message or if the button should be disabled. The other thing I've done is that on my submit button, I've got, I've added the disable state and I've changed the CSS so that the background is a lighter and also I changed the cursor pointer to not allowed so that people can't, users, users can't uh, click on it anymore. So then what I should do is that I should create an on form submit workflow. That's what I will do. And the first thing I do is that I will do a change variable value. And basically I will search for my is form disable variable and set it to true. So now the form will be disable when we enter this workflow. Then here you would add the logic of your form. So like sending data to your backend, for example, here I will do a time delay and faking uh, an API call that takes two seconds. So name it fake API request and let's use two seconds as my delay. Then I will change the variable value of is form disabled again to false so that people can enter the form again. Then I will display the success message. So to do this, I will also use the change variable value for display success message and I will switch it to true. No, what I should do is that I should bind the disable state on this button to my is form disable variable, so which is false, so the button is not disabled now. But you see here, if I go in my variables and I switch is form disable to true, my button is not great and I can't click on it. And I will do the same for the error message here. So we'll go inside the settings, conditional rendering, and I will bind it to display success message. So now if I switch the display, sorry, oh, display success message variable, yeah, it's shown to the user. So now what I can do is that I can go in the preview mode, hit submit, and you see it's disabling my button, waiting, waiting for two seconds re-enabling it and then showing this success message. 